Getting our troops out of Iraq is something an Old West End resident would very much like to see happen. Jeff Nelson has planted these signs in his yard to remind people the price that America is paying for the war in Iraq. But the city has sent him a letter telling him to remove the signs because they violate the city sign ordinance. The American Civil Liberties Union says not so fast. In this case, the particular provision of the ordinance they say that he is in violation of, which is having four signs in his yard rather than one, um, frankly doesn't apply to him. These are political signs. The controversy prompted us to ask why. Why does Jeff Nelson care about this issue so much that he's willing to fight City Hall? Well, Shelley Brown spent some time talking to Mr. Nelson tonight. What did you find out from him, Shelley? Chris, the number of Americans killed in Iraq is close to reaching the 3,000 mark. And with every American killed or wounded, and there are thousands more who have been wounded, there is a grieving family. Jeff Nelson wants people to be informed whether they support the war or not. He says he'd like to take his signs down and see the U.S. pull out of Iraq, but doesn't see it happening anytime soon. In the old West End neighborhood, an American flag flaps in the wind. And at this home, four signs about the Iraq war light up the front lawn. Signs with numbers, numbers of Americans killed in Iraq, Americans wounded, and Iraqis who have lost their lives. Well, not only do I think that they're being very, very well received, they're informative, they're, in my mind, they're basically just factual at this point. Every day that goes by, Jeff Nelson checks the numbers as they come out from the Pentagon on different websites. It's a pretty sad routine and I wish I didn't have to do it. And while we were there, the number of Americans killed had jumped by five. So Nelson updated his sign, and he says he does it for a reason. I figure it either um, might cause somebody who doesn't really think about the war to pause and think about it, and then for others, it's, uh, it's just a constant reminder. This man actually parked his truck to stop and reflect on the numbers. Nelson says not everyone agrees with his signs, but he believes it's his right to free speech to display them. The effect is going to be the same in Iraq whether we leave now or in 10 years. There's still going to be trouble when we leave. And it's just going to be how many more American soldiers do we want killed and wounded and how many more innocent Iraqi civilians have to die because of us being there. Nelson would like more than anything to take the signs down. But as long as the U.S. is there, he says he has no plans on removing them. Shelley Brown, News 11.